make arrangements for security and all that. And in fact, at that particular time, we ran so. Yeah. <laughs> They didn't know what was happening. They thought Seacom suddenly is fired because of the other cables. But that particular time we kept quiet was because we were doing the Somali portion. So whenever we were working on Somali, in fact, the second time again, you remember there was a problem uh, about two months ago. Yeah. Uh, it also happened to be along the Somali coast. So all of a sudden, because Seacom is very transparent, whenever we are doing something, we tell you. This is the problem, and this is what we are doing. Uh, but when it comes to that pirate area, <laughs> we don't want to keep quiet. We don't want to at attract a lot of attention. In fact, initially, before the piracy thing came, you could track our ships. We had three ships. One was coming from South, the other one was being the Swiss, and the other one was coming from Mumbai. Yeah, you could track and see where the ship is, actually. But when, when this issue started, we had to pull all that information off. So one, one advantage with SQL, we are always very transparent. Whenever we have a problem, we will share it with everything. So going back to the construction bits, uh, whatever you will see, we try to build a mini producers. Although the actual containerized cable station, they are just like modules or containers. We have to build a facade around it uh, to, to, to blend with the museum and this area because of the heritage. So that had to be approved with the museum, and that is why we did it. Uh, and then we also built the administration building, which has also attracted a lot of other international players. Julius will talk about it later on. So I think uh, the landing station will be a very important landmark, not only to Kenya, but to the region. And it's also important to note we are serving uh, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, South Sudan, Ethiopia, and uh, uh, Kenya from this land station. And later on, the way we are going to design the, the, the whole system, uh, Bengo, if you remember, I know he was my lecturer at one time. <laughs> uh, countries like uh, Ethiopia will suffer from both Mombasa and Jews, so that will be a very good balance. And also, Burundi Rwanda that we start from the Dar es Salaam land station and also from the Mombasa land station. So in the next one year, we'll have a very good network, whether it is mesh, ring, so that whenever we have a problem in this part of the world, the other portion takes over. So let me not finish everything now. We will go down. Yeah. Um, the first group, will, uh, our one has to be around 15 people, so that we it will be, because some rooms there are not very big. I don't know how many are here. Okay. When, when, uh, when we are in the transmission room, uh, the first group will start with Peter, he's one of our engineers, I think he will start with you. Uh, Peter Uko. Um, but when you are there, you will mention something like uh, backup uh, data communication network. Now, this is part of it. Uh, the, the satellite is not really to back up the, the, our fiber connection. Because I normally tell people when you compare a satellite, even when you build it as big as an earth station with fiber, they, they are not comparable. Uh, to, like, like a very short uh, example is, you know Longo not at station? Yes. Yeah. The total capacity that is there, or was there, is the minimum that we give clients here. Uh, 155, so, yeah? Yeah, well, an STM1. One. That is the minimum that we are giving clients here. So normally we can't say that it is not really a backup. It is in case we have a fiber cut, we use it to communicate with other stations to restore our fiber. Yeah, back. Yeah. So, yeah. so I think Otto will take us. Yeah, yeah let's move. Yeah. Apologies, we are using the back door of the museum. <laughs> we are still taking our way. Jesus is next. When did you come? Ah! No, no, no. Five. Yeah, I came at like 12. We tried to get the same contractor. <laughs> so, this is for Jesus.
No, it's just across. Yes. I thought you bought. Actually, from... actually, this plot is part of Odysseus. Ah. So even the title deed is. A... Yeah, I remember there was a problem with the government. That was the thing the government kept. Yeah, there, the was one that there was an issue. That yes. Was the teams kept. Uh, oh, no, no, the teams. Actually, while, while uh, uh, one reason why we chose this area, uh, when we did the initial survey, uh, I'm worried because some people are concerned. So when, when we did the initial survey, what are Zoya? When we did the initial survey, we had very few options. One problem, uh, which is actually it's a problem, but we had to work on it, is everything is concentrated in the island. So all the pops for our clients, whether it is an ISP, Telcos, whether it is Safaricom, it's Telcom, it's Zane, all their main uh, pops or switches are based in the island. So now for us to serve this client effectively, we also had to be in the island. Now the only option when we are bringing our cable from, from the open sea, on the right, you're going to the port. Now that when, it, it, when it's a shipping route, it's not a very good place to put a cable. Although it is properly protected, we'll, we'll show you an example. Itself, the way it has been designed, it's well protected, and we even add split pipes on top of it. But the problem is, during, during construction, we, have, we will be forced to close maybe that route for uh, a duration of even 15 hours. Now it will be a big problem to close a, a shipping route or, or when we are doing maintenance. So the only option was to bring it to this side of the island, to this side of the channel, not the, the Likoni channel. This, the, I don't think it's the Nyali channel. Now, when we reached here, we surveyed all the land until Nyali Bridge. But now when, when we talk to the museum, uh, immediately in front of Jesus, there is a Portuguese ship which was sunk down there. So. Uh, that could have delayed our operations because now when the archaeologists come they want to do uh, slow excavation everything <laughs> to them is important so it will take another one year before we can even start our work so the only option we had was to be on the right side of this now that is why we had to talk to the museum because of this side is the hospital state house so there is no land completely and we are very lucky uh, to be here so that's, 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 that's a brief for, on, on, on how we, we chose like this to have been fast. Yeah. building is this? This is our building. Oh, yeah. structured for this purpose. Yeah, so we, we've leased uh, a portion from the government for 33 years, or from the National Museum of oh. Kenya. Yeah. And then... Why on the, that degree? Uh, okay, the, the life of this cable yes. is 25 years. Yes. Or the SICOM project is for 25 years. After 25 years, maybe somebody else will take over. So for investors, we had to be guaranteed we could not take land for less than 25 years. Ah, I and I think government, they like 33, 66, 99. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's why they gave us uh, 33. Yeah. And as we are here, maybe uh, when we are, we are doing the cable on the channel, uh, when you are, you are in the open sea, it's normally very easy. You will see some photos. It's done by... There's an equipment we call a plow because it, it actually digs, lays the cable and covers. It's a 40 ton equipment. It's like a robot but it's very heavy. Uh, it's controlled from, from the ship. It's normally very easy when you're doing it down there. But up here, because Somalia, the Somalia coast around 3,000 kilometers, we did it for around 20 days uh, or less. We actually tried uh, to, 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 to rush, yeah. It was actually less. 20 days include a bigger portion further than Somalia. But here we did it for over two months because here we were using divers. And also we need to dig at least a meter down. So for, for, this, for depths that are less than two kilometers, we have to dig at least a meter or two down and then we also cover it. So here we had to use divers and barges and then we also added split pipes on top of it. The split pipes, they're actually like metal, like rail. They're very strong to protect the cable on the route. Because this area, we still have uh, any ships, but they all, the merchant, all the ships that go to the old port. So they still cross here, but they are not really a big threat. Is it 